Disc golf is a sport that's quickly gaining traction in the United States. It's similar to golf, but with some key differences. Two local players have made it their mission to make a new disc golf course, but they need the community's help. News 10 Bureau Chief Nathan Springfield has details. Meet Austin Seavers and Tyler Sanders. Both are friends and disc golf players. Since last year, they have made it their goal to grow the sport of disc golf in Knox County. For those unfamiliar with the sport, it is similar to regular golf. The main difference is uh, in ball golf, you have your golf ball and your golf club. Uh, disc golf combines the two, so your disc is the ball and the club. The objective is the same, to try and make the disc into the basket in as few strokes as possible. While Knox County has a disc golf course at Hillcrest Park, Seaver says there are only nine baskets. The friends approached Camp Arthur in Bruceville about creating a full 18-hole disc golf course. Following a successful fundraiser last month, board members approved the duo to design and build a permanent course. This new 18-hole course will be big enough to host tournaments, which will bring people from all over the state of Indiana to right here in Knox County. Most of the time we're traveling to like Terre Haute and Evansville and Indianapolis to, to play in tournaments, um, which is one of the reasons why we wanted to, to start this in Knox County. The pair already have a course designed. Now they're working on collecting donations. Equipment and labor cost going into the permanent course design, um, we're, we're looking at raising about $10,000. Seaver says the community has been very supportive and they have even had a few people commit to helping fund the new course. I've had people um, from all across the community reach out and, you know, first of all, ask what disc golf is. Um, and people that have heard of it are excited to see another course come to Vincennes or Knox County. Seaver said he and Sanders hope to begin work on the course later this spring. Reporting in Bruceville, Nathan Springfield, News 10.